Hello YouTube, this is Win5387 here with another Mac that finally was delivered to my house. It is a 2001 Power Mac G4 Quicksilver and with this Power Mac came the Black Pro Keyboard. The uh, Pro Speakers, they sound really nice. The Apple Cinema Display, I believe this is a 17 inch display. And our nice G4 Quicksilver uh, Power Mac computer and I was uh, kind of scared because when I saw the box it was mostly held together together with just tape and the packaging was terrible but thankfully because it's a Mac it works so I shall turn this thing around to see some of the ports on the back of the computer so starting from the top we have a headphone uh, sound output port and modem port, this is the port for the pro speakers, so uh, people won't get the pro speaker port and the headphone port mixed up. And Ethernet port, two Firewire ports, two USB ports, the power cable. Uh, this is the this is what came in the mail. That's what it looked like, but thankfully it works. This is the Apple Display Connector or ADC, a VGA port, and uh, some expansion slot as you can see one of the covers is missing which I'm also sad about and this is also a lock of some sort down here at the bottom and we also have the fan and some more ventilation and also on the back of our Apple Cinema display are two USB ports so I have now boot up our power Mac okay so now I will boot up our power Mac with the power button there goes the excellent pro speakers with the uh, excellent startup chime from Apple and our cinema display with the great loading screen And this computer does boot up into Mac OS 10.4.11 very, very fast. Because really there's uh, not, haven't put much on it other than uh, this Mac Tracker application which I found very, really good. So thank you for that. So, let me look at about this Mac. As you can see, it is running Mac OS 10.4.11, which is Tiger, with an 867 MHz Power PC G4. Uh, with 2 megabytes of L3 cache, a 512 megabytes of SSD RAM, and a Macintosh HD startup disk. And not only does this computer was started up on Macintosh HD, but it actually has two hard drives, according to the uh, display on, what is displayed on the desktop. And one of this storage hard drive is to install Mac OS 10.5, which is Leopard which uh, this thing can actually go up to I actually didn't mean to click on that but and it always does that every time I uh, click on the Mac OS install DVD and I can install Mac OS 10.5 but I'm not going to do that now because I'll actually be installing the Mac OS 10 public beta on a uh, later video I'll have posted on YouTube so let's look here at our applications. See, so see, so we have Address Book, Apple Script, Apple Works, Automator, Calculator, Chess, the Dashboard, Dictionary, DVD Player, Final Cut Express, Font Book, Garage Band. Garage Band just suddenly decided not to work, but uh, I don't really know how to make good music, <laughs> so uh, I'll just leave that alone. iCal, iChat, iDVD, Image Capture iMovie, Internet Connect, iPhoto, iSync, iTunes, Mac Tracker, Mail, Preview, QuickTime, the RA Link, Wireless Utility, that is an application that my uh, parents installed on an iMac when we used that because I believe the modem or something with the Ethernet didn't work correctly so we used a wireless USB connector. 
And also we have our utilities, such as activity monitor, the airport setup assistant, grapher, and a couple other utilities here. And when I first bought this thing, it had Norton antivirus software on it, and that just slowed the whole computer down, but ever since I uninstalled it, it's been running great. So, uh, there's no real need, no real need for antivirus software on a Mac. So then, hopefully, you enjoyed this video of a 2001 Power Mac G4 Quicksilver with, uh, a pro keyboard, pro speakers, cinema display. Didn't come with a mouse for some strange reason. Or working mouse, I should say. So, uh, so I'm just using my Logitech mouse for the third time on my vintage Mac videos. So, thank you for watching this, and goodbye.